Despite everyone stranded on a dinosaur planet and considering ending it all, Kylo Ren reevaluates his life choices after finding another survivor. With the language barrier between them and dinosaurs around every corner, the journey will not be easy. Time is also of the essence as a fat meteor approaches very quickly far away from their home planet Samaris or whatever it was called. Adam Driver calls for help but second guesses himself, wondering if it is even worth living at all. Bruh. You have to excuse me here, we're kind of on a zero dollar budget in case you didn't realize and we have to wait a long time. Here we go. Luckily, the girl he met gives him a new hope. See what I did there? Smirk emoji. And he's willing to risk all to save this stranger who he has never met before because that's what heroes do in the face of peril. Anyway, my last video got like 10k views and I'm really money hungry. So I'm making another video on 65, even though there was absolutely no need to at all. And I could not finish reading that at all. So I highly, deeply apologize to all of you. Hopefully you can uh, finish that yourselves. Anyway, I really can't be bothered putting effort into another 65 video. So I'm just gonna leech off of all the comments you left on my video of your own theories. And we'll go into deep dives of what this movie might be actually about. So we have Idris Tyler first up with 25 likes. Good job on that, man. Really proud of you. Uh, maybe aliens took DNA from Earth dinosaurs and put them on another planet as an experiment to see how they would thrive. Would make more sense for the law because the dinosaurs look mutated and hybridish. Then I replied to him and said, they actually say at the start of the movie that the dinosaur plant is called Earth. So, there's your theory going out the window. I'm sorry, Idris Tyler. But it was still a solid theory until they said that in the movie. They didn't say it. They just put Earth on screen, actually. Then we have Time Shark with 43 likes. Good job on that. That's wow. Um... If they just didn't say it was Earth 65 million years ago and say call it some alien planet, they could have saved themselves from so much drama and hate. Definitely agreed there, bro. Next up, Hunter Glassbell asks, were there any herbivores? No, there were not. Apparently this Postosuchus massive T-Rex thing was meant to be a Triceratops, which would have been insanely incredible to have a herbivore Triceratops as the final antagonist in a movie for once. Like, imagine that. They just take on the T-Rexes, but it turns out Triceratops is the apex predator. And also the Ankylosaurus T-Rex thingy baby was meant to be an Ankylosaurus, which, uh, you know, it kind of leads me to my next thing which is a comment from London Sintron. This is an immense stretch, but I can't help but wonder if having the baby armored dinosaur get mauled was meant to be a jab at Cam Cretaceous with Bumpy and all. A sort of, our dinosaurs are edgier than that other dinosaur franchise. Well, you're actually not far off, London, because actually, that Ankylosaurus T-Rex thing was originally meant to be an Ankylosaurus, and it was gonna be a sidekick to the characters throughout the entire movie. However, I think after Camp Cretaceous, that idea got scrapped because it would have looked like they were copying them. And yeah, then I guess they decided to kill it because it was like, screw you, Camp Cretaceous. And well, yeah. Sticking on the topic of the Kylo Rex thing, we have a comment from Boss Turner. I'm pretty sure that the Kylo Rex thing was the baby of the four-legged theropod we see later. <laughs> they both are on four legs and carnivorous. Plus, the adult also has some remnants of armor on its back. <laughs> Bro, you're really stretching there because it didn't have a club tail. And Idris Tyler is back in on the action. He's commenting again. They look nothing alike facial-wise, so I disagree. Well, look, to be fair, they were both meant to be herbivores in the movie, so they were the closest related things, I guess. But, uh, yeah, no, they're meant to be entirely different things, I think. Then we have, next up, Godzilla Universe, who says, You're spoiling, mate. Come on. Most of the stuff was shown off in the trailers. I'm barely spoiling anything. You don't want to watch the video? Don't watch it, man. Like, come on. I already... I, I literally said, spoiler review, in that previous video. It's literally titled, spoiler review. Why did you click it then, bro? Huh? Then we have another comment asking, so it's Earth where the dinosaurs did not go extinct and evolved. Actually, no, the meteor hit the Earth at the end of the movie, so they all died out, and it plays out the same way real life does now, where humans evolved into existence. So that kind of leads me on to my own theory, you know, maybe Adam Driver, once they left the planet, they decided to come back. Adam Driver was like, hey, 
We can breathe air on Earth. Let's go and populate it, you know? And that's how humans came into existence, you know? Uh, Because he's literally Adam Driver. Maybe his wife's name was Eve. So it was Adam and Eve. And they started all over again. So, yeah. Because he did have a wife at the start of the movie. That's who I'm talking about. I'm not talking about anyone else. Just don't get anything mixed up there. Anyway, next question. Did any of the dinosaurs have a cool sound design? If so, which one? To be fair, I wasn't honestly listening to it. I can't... Like, seriously. The only dinosaur roars I can remember is T-Rex... Spinosaurus and Dinosaur X, because they have cool roars, you know? Um, but no, uh, actually, the most memorable one from this movie was when the Palikasaur thingy uh, did a Velociraptor roar from Jurassic Park. It was straight up ripped from the movie. <laughs> Anyway, on the topic of the Palikasaur things, we have a comment from Darth Indo who said, you really have to do your research to research your... Sorry, I read that wrong. You have to research your dinos better. Like the Nothosaurus, for example. You couldn't figure out its name. And then I responded to him saying, I know what a Nothosaurus is, pal. And that isn't it. Just because Swerve says it is, doesn't mean it is. I'm gen- I genuinely believe that because Swerve has a big following... No no offence to Swerve, you know, it's his entire and own opinion to believe it's an orthosaurus. But I, I believe it's Swerve who has made people think it's an orthosaurus. Um, but anyway, not my fault the movie didn't name their creatures. Not a single creature in this movie was named. Um, and it looked nothing like that orthosaurus that ever lived. Not to mention, orthosaurus is a reptile, not a dinosaur. So I'm exposing you right now, Darth Indo. So maybe you should do your research better. No, I'm just kidding. I'm... A, I'm playing all fun and games you can have my like i like to like comments even if i get hate comments just for the strategy of confusion they're like why did they like my comment i i I was like crapping on them why did they do that but yeah it's a strategy of confusion buddy that's why i like all of my comments no matter how rude you are to me but it wasn't that rude it was kind of just correcting me you're completely in your right to correct me if you guys want to correct me in this video if you want to Speaking of hate comments, we have a comment from saying, Co, 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 is this a review, you stupid video? <laughs> Alright, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, it wasn't really much of a review, I just, I literally just narrated whatever happened throughout the movie. So you're entitled to your uh, opinion there. I, I kind of shared the same opinion after finishing, and I was like, I kind of just narrate what happened in the movie, it wasn't a review at all. I don't know, but I said at the end of the video, it was like a 78 rating, which was a very high rating. It's probably because I had nothing going on all week, so this was like the best thing that happened to me this week, watching this movie. Kind of, actually, I hung out with my friend, that was pretty cool. But, um... <laughs> oh, no. Anyway... Look, Liam has a theory. They somehow travelled into a different universe of Earth 65 million years ago. That's probably the most likely logical thing here, where they're living in a parallel universe somewhere in the multiverse, and all these things are just... Yeah, it's Earth in the multiverse. Our next theory comes from Aaron Ramus. I like to think this takes place on Earth 65 million years ago, but in Skull Island back when most of Hollow Earth creatures haven't come up yet, like the Kong species. So obviously he's talking about the King Kong Godzilla lore, and this movie is somehow connected to it, like a very far back prequel. It's a bit of a stretch, but it's more logical than most of the things I've heard today, so I'll read it out. That or it's a post-apocalyptic future where hybrid dinosaurs took over the planet. It would have been a good plot twist that they didn't travel to the past, but to the future and discovering towards the end of the movie some ruins of this something of a city like Planet of the Apes. Sounds good, right? At least for me. And you just got seven likes on that, buddy. So yeah, a bunch of people are quite happy with your theory. Uh, then Alice Grant replies, We don't get the ending. Even they fly out from Earth. They still stalk in 65 million years ago. But do they back to the future time? Man, I, I, I had... A seizure trying to read that to be entirely honest man um but no you're all entitled to your own opinions and pro memer boy he says to wrap it up i apologize to jwd giga disney carnotaurus and mr spino uh these are the worst most monsterized and most awesome bro designs ever in dinosaur media it's almost impossible to tell what dinosaurs these even are hope you guys enjoy i'll see you later bye everyone why are you still here click off the video